Tonight, a family wants answers and an attorney wants change. We sat down with the representative of one of the women killed in the transport van that was driven into floodwaters by Horry County Corrections officers. ABC 15's Madeline Montgomery shows why an attorney of one of the family, one of the victim's families thinks there's more to blame than the correction officers driving the van. Madeline? The attorney of Wendy Newton's family thinks the hospital officials who put her in the van, the officers driving the van, and even possibly the van maker should be accountable for her death in Necklet Greens. She endured minute after minute of impending death there. Tommy Brenton wants answers and change. Their eyes met hers and they watched that water rise with those two women in the back of that thing. Now, they'd done nothing wrong. He represents Wendy Newton. She's one of two victims who died after corrections officers drove around barriers and into floodwaters. The officers survived. Cute little slip of a woman, just a great lady. Um, but she suffered from great fears and anxiety. Anxiety so bad she decided to go to the hospital. You know, she didn't have the money to go to a private psychiatrist or something like that. That's when Britton said the fatal chain of events was set into motion. She was safe and the hospital decided to move her. Then there's the vehicle she was put in. Put her in a, a van for the transport of serious criminals that has a cage in the middle of it. A cage she couldn't get out of when the van hit floodwaters. If she'd have been in a different kind of vehicle, or they'd have been properly trained and equipped, they could have taken her out and she'd be okay just like they are. The only light at the end of the chain of events to Britain, it's compensation for the families and change for the future. But this is one of those cases that can right the wrong for a lot of other people. Britain says he plans on filing a lawsuit against the hospital, the local government, and the officers. Thanks, Madeline. Nicolette Green's family also plans on filing lawsuits.